All right, welcome to Thursday. Yeah, we've been shooting so out of order. I'm really confused about my days, but we have Joe with us today, and we have Alex with us today. Yes, nice to meet you. First time here. I've been here for five <laughs> years. You started five here years? four years ago. Right here on this couch for five years. Well, no. Okay. All right. Fair. All right, that's out of the way. Now we know who each other is and how long we've been here. Let's do some headlines, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Take shall it away, Carl. We shall. Headlines. Starting with, uh, Heron eats frog and then viciously attacks a trail camera. Yeah, he was trying to destroy the evidence, you know, like you see in the movies. The bad guy always does something evil and then goes and destroys the camera. So what the Why do you assume it was a bad guy? <clears throat> the ski mask and the dark outfit well yeah but the jewel maybe he was betrayed by obi-wan too oh well uh only five shelby dragon snake cobras will be built and they will cost seven hundred fifty thousand dollars each this is a purple shelby basically a race car that is absolutely amazing i i don't know how they're going to go through and get people to the top five people that get to buy these five cars, I have no idea how they're going to figure that out. And if they get Carol Shelby to autograph their car, they'll really be lucky. <laughs> they will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> be in heaven where Carol Shelby hopefully is. I don't know. All right. Uh, okay. Number three. Because, because we can't go too far without having some football news, uh, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, a viral touchdown throw at practice with the Jets uh, has Green Bay Packers fans' attention. Uh, one, it's practice, so if you're not throwing dimes in practice, I don't know what you're doing in the NFL, but it's practice, and he's Aaron Rodgers. In spite of the fact that he's with the Jets now, he's still a top 10 quarterback, so... Was and, it viral before he threw it, though? Probably not. What it made, might, what it made it viral? De definitely wasn't spiral. I mean, it's not like he was like Mr. Perfect Kurt Henney who threw a pass and caught it for the touchdown. <laughs> but at least it yes. wasn't the sweet angel prince. Well, who is? Oh. Oh. It's going for Robert's knee with that one. Almost. Yeah. <laughs>We've got Joe here as we're marching through our week of get to know your staff. What yes. is he doing? He's Vogue framing himself in, doing the uh, Madonna Vogue action there. Um, so we're going to learn a little bit about Joe. Joe with the um, infamous, always famous, everybody loves to answer this question. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm curious, do you have a two card for me too? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I like. Uh, it, it should, let me, I'll read it to. I'll prep you for it. Okay. okay, it, okay. It, just, it just says hi. My name's Joe. Oh. GoPro shots. <laughs> Sponsor. Oh, <by> wrong one. <laughs> wrong one. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you know, I like uh, long walks on the beach. I like to watch the waves come in. I don't like where this is going. You know, and sometimes I wave at the waves, and the waves just wave together. <laughs> no, you know, uh, Josh, tell me about, you know, um, I think I'm a person that even on my bad days, I like to make sure that everyone has a good laugh. I like to try to do what I can to lift everybody's spirits and hey, life is rough. We move on and, uh, you know, I hopefully is one of those people that uh, when people see me, recognize me, they already get a smile going on because they know I'm going to have something funny to say. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so if I could tell you about myself, that's, that's it. I'm just a silly, witty, fun person who tries to enjoy life. Don't forget, you've been the morning champion, the good morning champion. The good morning champion. Oh, oh yes, yeah, the back. morning routine <laughs> champion. Well, I lost that recently, so well, that's we have a new first champion. Well, time here on the morning routine. It is, and I don't have my title, but I have my mouse. <laughs> Where did you even get he that? He brought one? props. He brought props. Of course. Uh, well, it's so uh, cool. Didn't know about the slow walks on the beach and you waving with the waves, but... Um, it's a wavy situation. Yeah, it's, it's fluid. It's fluid. <laughs> Very fluid right now. <laughs> um, 
So uh, Joe is very, this is a very uh, good, we know this about Joe because Joe does open us up in the mornings every morning with uh, getting uh, the morning routine rolling. He is the champion of the morning of cheer, gets everyone pumped up and excited for the day, does bring a smile into the building every day in spite of the challenges that do go on in life. So uh, we all applaud Joe for that and thank him very much. But we do want to say but good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not bad, not bad. Not a bad morning. And uh, what's my hashtag? Hashtag positive vibes only. There we go. That. that is a good one. All right, so um, great to know a little bit of background on Joe, but uh, why this industry? How did you choose this industry? Did it choose you? Yeah, you know, it chose me. Uh, originally, when I first entered this field, I was a dial array driver. Okay. And I picked up at another uh, company in Turlock, and the owner came to me one day and just straight said, you're in the wrong field. <laughs> you need to come work for us. Ah. And uh, which started kind of a six month back and forth. And finally I did enter this field. I left it for a little bit and uh, worked at some uh, group home. Mm -hmm. Kind of one day I was just sitting around, I was like looking around and where that job had taken me, who I was personally. And I wasn't happy again. I heard there was an opportunity with you guys. Been off to the side watching you guys from when you guys opened to now. And always, always hoping to get my foot in the door. And so having pizza with a good friend of mine who likes pineapple on his pizza. Ew. And uh, so he mentioned you guys were hiring. I was on the phone the next day trying to get hold of you guys and get the opportunity to come here and you know be part of the changes that are going on here with people's lives and that's cool. why I came to this field it's you know when I first I didn't know I was like hey okay let me check this out but over time I understand that I get to be a vital part of people's lives and see their lives change which is very very cool yeah absolutely absolutely I think Alex has a question for you as well and yeah, I'm sitting here with Joe. This is his first time being on the morning routine. So I do want to say to you, what is your favorite thing about working here? My favorite thing about working here. You know, it's one of those jobs that if you really sit there and think about it, you leave on an average day with a smile on your face. Uh, weekends off. Uh, and <laughs> the other job that there was like there was no weekends off and as you got higher up in you know leadership even on your days off your phones were going off and you had to answer the phone calls and deal with situations and you know uh, I don't have to deal with all that stuff and what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I lost track of myself there. He's had those bad memories coming back. He started getting his PTSD. That's right. Oh my God. But no. Uh, <laughs> my weekends. I lost my weekends. <laughs> Overall, it's a very pleasant experience to work here. Um, I look forward to coming to work every day. Even on the days when I'm really, really, really tired and like I can find the energy to come here. It's, it's a great experience. I know you guys personally get experience it too. You guys, you know, some days you don't want to come in, but there's, it's like a family here. We all take care of each other. We all look out for each other. And I've had days when maybe I'm having the worst day I, I think I'm having in my life. And I think I'm hiding it. And Carl spotted me right away, came right up to me. You could tell, and he didn't come at me like, oh, hey, there's something wrong. You need to go home. It was like, hey, Okay, you need to talk. You don't find that in a lot of workplaces. And so around here we do, we take care of each other. We see something wrong. You know, we see something with you guys that's not quite right. We come talk to you guys. We do the same thing for each other. And like I said, you don't get that in a lot of jobs. And we're glad to have you. Glad to be here. Yes, absolutely. Joe's great. Joe's done a lot for us over the years uh, during the pandemic. He played a lot of music for us, which is great, which I hope Joe will do again for us. Uh, but maybe uh, not on his own time. Joe was very gracious during the pandemic. He donated a lot of his personal time to making some great videos that had to do with music and stuff. And 
uh, hopefully here I had an actual request from somebody hey can we bring back some of the music and some feller named Clyde Bigsby which apparently Joe knows I'll say it's, listen as far as the music Carl have a little patience there might be something coming up as far as Clyde <laughs> yeah, don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that Clyde guy. I think I lost his number. <laughs> but then, well, you have a number written on your hand. I don't know if that. Oh, that was from uh, some of the volunteer work oh, today. Oh, so Clyde Bigsby made you work here? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. He followed me here. Somehow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, Joe is a great guy. He's, he he does a lot for us. He does uh, get the mornings going for us. He did some great music. Hope to have some music come back from him. But we do have to move on with our Thursday, starting with the National Day with Gabrielle right here. Let's find out what it is. Good morning, everybody. Here we are on a Thursday, and what are we doing on a Thursday? We are going down, down the slope. slope. That is right. Boy, there are people who pay attention to me. Oh, it makes me feel so good. But now, I was researching the National Day today, and it is weird. How weird? Well, so weird that it is National Foam Party Day. That, oh my, oh my. <laughs> what That's is a weird. foam party? I had to look it up. I want to know. They do parties now. They come out to your house. You know, like the people who come out with a bouncy house? Mm -hmm. They come out with these big foam guns and big foam pits. And they, uh, it's like at Christmas time where you see people's lights move and stuff like that to music. Yep. The foam is to that and they shoot it out and they shoot it at you and then you can jump in the pits and the foam comes everywhere and music and lights and it's it's a thing it is a thing it's a thing oh my i mean everybody's got to have a thing actually you want to say that one of my friends who lives in austin is an investor in a company that rents these things really cody if that's you say hello Wow! Wow! Well, then he should be able to give us the real skinny on what this is, because I was pretty—I thought it was pretty interesting. I love to have a bunch of. Well, see, now there comes there comes the fun. What? Do you do you invite people you really don't like, and you come and have a phone party, and they get shot up like a big Nerf gun party, <laughs> or do you invite all of your friends, and then it just becomes like war in your backyard? <laughs> Oh, that kind of sounds Either awesome. War in the backyard. In the backyard. I mean, one. sounds pretty fun. Yes. Huh? So I was intrigued with it. So I think we need to look up to see if we have that around here. Because your friend, Cody, he lives in Austin. I'm thinking it's interesting. We might have to look it up. I wonder if they do... Oh, we could do it out at the park and have a big foam party. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. I'm down for shooting anybody with some Nerf gun. Me too. Type thing. Me too. That's kind of, or, or, now I start envisioning, is it a little target that comes out? Or is it like a big pool noodle that comes out of like a cannon? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's a cannon. Even better yet, this party yes. is starting to sound really fun to me. Um, I don't know how long it's been National Day of because I, I'm pretty sure I haven't heard it and I've been doing this a while. So it's a new thing. I think okay. we need to get in on it. So everybody, let's look up and see and find out what this is about. See if somebody's got a business here in, in the area. If not, we may have to ask Mr. Cody there from Austin, Texas to hook us up, right? I right. think so. So right. everybody right. have a great day today and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. All right, so foam party day, yes. Uh, Carl, can we have one? <laughs> I'm not sure if... Uh, that the, looks uh, like lots of foam. It, <laughs> yes, it would be a foamy good time. 
Uh, Cody, if you happen to catch this, I don't remember if you Wait, said this. Cody? Cody's a friend of mine that I went to high school with, and I, I believe he told me that he invested in a company that does like party supplies and all this cool party equipment you can rent, and I think the foam thing was a big part of it. Cody, if you see it, I know you check it every once in a while, uh, drop a little line, let me know, and maybe some shots hey, Cody, if you like see that. this, let us know, because he always says he has friends, but none of us have ever seen him. Yeah, I took that part <laughs> hidden. Uh, so, anyway, uh, all all right, let's go back into the bearded past, past with Mr. Wise or Zach. Hey, hey, everybody! It looks like Lavelle stepped in again and is joining hey. me. Woohoo! Yeah. It's Thursday, June fifteenth. And we're gonna go, go back, back in into the, the beard he has with Zach. Alright, All right. so we're gonna do a little history today, huh? Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna do a little history. It might be interesting for some, and some people might go, sure, that was great. But you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. So All go right. ahead. In 2007, after more than 30 years, American game show host Bob Barker stepped down as host of The Price is Right. Many of sick days I faked as a young kid from school. I stayed home and watched this gentleman. Yes. And you used to fake sick? Well, you know. When you were younger? When I was younger, I had to take a day off once in a while to watch Bob Barker. Did you? And Donahue. And Donahue. Did you get caught? Of course I did. I got in trouble every time, but I got to watch Price is Right. Yes, you, <laughs> many memories with Bob Barker. You should know what happens in the dark always comes to light. It does, I know, I know, and I read myself out there. So, but Bob Barker, he was a huge set of that, and he finally walked away, and I believe it went to uh, Drew Carey there after that for uh, some time. Also, in 1944, during World War II, U.S. Marines attack Saipan in the Mariana Islands. This is part of the island hopping campaign. Uh, I've talked about it a little bit here and there probably quite a bit and uh, um, so that's uh, also happening today in history 1864 Arlington. Arlington National Cemetery was established when 200 acres 80 of Confederate General Robert E Lee's estate in Virginia which had been seized by the US government was authorized for a national cemetery. Yeah, so what they did, Lavelle, is so this, this gentleman, Robert E. Lee, lived in this house, decided to side with the Confederacy during the war, and so the Union basically said, you know what? We're gonna take your property, and we're gonna turn it into a national cemetery. So if you ever get the opportunity, I don't know if you have yet, if you ever get the opportunity when you go, if you can go to Washington, D.C., all right, go out there, go over, check out Arlington National Cemetery. Number one, it's just amazing. There's a lot of really neat things to it. And then in the process, you're standing on Robert E. Lee's estate, which, mind you, was also part of the George Washington families as well. All right, and so in 1846, last but not least today, we are gonna go to the United States and Britain. This is important, actually. They signed an Oregon Treaty establishing the border between Canada and the United States, latitude 49 degrees north. There have been a lot, the, the, the British, they still had a lot of claim to that land up there, and uh, it was just kind of a headache, and so this treaty signed, and basically it pushed us all the way up the United States. It gave us the territories from Oregon all the way up to Washington, right at the border there, uh, you know, before you go into the Vancouver area. So uh, it was big, it's a beautiful country, and uh, you know, that was a lot of fun today. Did you learn anything? Um... No? No. <laughs> Lavelle earned and learned absolutely... No, you, wait, wait. Did you know Arlington Cemetery was there before you said it? No. All right, so she did learn something. Okay. All right, you guys, have a good one. Enjoy, guys, have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good Tuesday. Bye, that's good.
All right, very good. That is back in the past. That is the national day. That is Joe, and that is Alex, and I am Sally. Your name is Carl. Thank you. That's why I keep Alex around. He reminds me who I am. Yes. Joe, any final thoughts? Hmm. That was a good one. All right. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, next time you say Sea Dog, I saw a really good thing. These scooters that look like, like VWs uh -huh. that you can ride around, and I think Sea Dog would be perfect for it. Wow. You know what? Funny you bring you up Sea Dog. Make a company investment. Funny you bring up Sea Dog, because uh, guess who? Alex, who did you guys see today? We saw Sea Dog. And? Rocker Bob. And what did they do? Argue over something that we don't know. <laughs> yeah, they actually came in and they wrote a song. Well, which, they wrote a song together. This is airing on Thursday. Joe's oblivious as we're filming this, but he actually knows now because we saw it on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, we did. That was my, and my ears are still hurting from it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a great Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow, Friday, on the morning routine. Thank you, Joe. We have You're always block. a good guy. He's going to leave me hanging for half a second. All right. Don't forget, we have Alex. Alex. Block YouTube Live Calamity Cooking with who knows who. Reason number two I keep Alex around. He keeps me on my toes. Yes, one o'clock, YouTube Live Calamity Cooking Workshop. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, that was a terrible. Let's try that. You're not on your toes. I'm not on my toes. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> 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 <laughs>